मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ श्री गोकुल पब्लिक स्कूल गुरुवायूर आई एम स्वाति योर मैथ्स टीचर हाउ आर यू चिल्ड्रेन आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके गुड सो व्हाट अबाउट द टेस्ट पेपर डिड यू गेट ऑल द आंसर्स हैव यू डन यस वेरी गुड सो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे लेट अस रिवाइज द टॉपिक पैटर्न So what are patterns, children? Yes, repeating shapes makes pattern, isn't it? Yes, here you can see. Look, these shapes are repeating. So this is an example of pattern. And here you can see. Yes, this is also a pattern. Which type of pattern? number pattern isn't it children yes so what do you mean by number pattern number pattern means a list of numbers which follow a certain sequence or pattern okay so see here yes these numbers follow a pattern how yes when we add 2 to this number we will get 4 Okay, like that. When we add two to this number, what will we get? Four plus two, six. Six plus two, eight. Eight plus two, ten. Like that, the sequence follows. Okay, so that is what meant by shape pattern and number. <laughs> Now let's do some problems on pattern. Yes, children. Here you can see two problems. Okay, so the first one is yes, pattern formed by shapes. Okay, so yes, a big circle is there, then small circle. Again, a big circle, small circle, then big circle. So what will come here? Yes, the answer is small circle. Okay, so. We can draw a small circle here. This is the children. So the next question: triangle, an inverted triangle, then a square. Again, a triangle, then inverted triangle, then again, which shape will come here? Yes, square. We can draw a square here. Is it right, children? Yes. Children, now let's do some problems on number pattern. So here you can see different number patterns. The first one is three, six, nine, and you have to fill these blanks. Okay. So how can you fill? Yes. So let's see. Yes. So what number comes? After nine, how can we find it? Yes, here. When we look at the pattern, we can find that when we add three to the each number, when we add three to each number, we will get the next number. How? Because three plus three gives six. Like that, when three is added to six, nine. So, to find the next one, we can add three to the number nine. So when three is added to nine, what do we get? Twelve. Then, when three is added to twelve, what do we get? Fifteen. And the next number factor, ten, twenty. Thirty, and you have to fill these blanks. Okay, so how can you fill? Yes, by looking at the first three numbers, you can find that these are multiples of ten. Or when we add ten to each number, we will get the next number. Ten plus ten equal to twenty. Like that, when ten is added to twenty, we will get. Thirty. Then when ten is added to thirty. 
30, we will get 40. Then when 10 is added to 40, we will get 50. Is it easy children? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay? So like that, we can do the problems on different patterns. I hope you all have understood how to find the answers of these pattern related questions. Isn't it children? Yes. Okay. So I am attaching a test paper along with this class. Children, answer the test paper and write it in your notebook. Okay. Write the answers in your notebook. Okay children, all the best for your exam. Learn this chapter very well. Okay. Okay children, that's all for today. Let's see in the next class. Till then take care. Bye.